Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming, my name is Hollow, and in a very small amount of time, we're all gonna have our hands on the 2.0 update for New Horizons. A long time coming, this part paid DLC part free update will introduce a lot of life back into the game in a way that, yeah, the mini events never really could. While there's lots of important details, features, quality of life stuff, all coming to AC in this update, there is a major aspect for many players that wasn't given that much spotlight, you know, the end game of Animal Crossing. That is, of course, new villagers. There's a whopping 16 being added in 2.0, eight of which are completely new to the series and eight are returning, although we have a mix of familiar faces and actually a few new ones for us in the West. It's an important aspect for the game since, you know, villager hunting is like a key part of what many consider the completion of their island. Having, say, their ideal setup and layout, but then taking the time to gather their favorite villagers specifically. So who are these new villagers and, you know, how do you get them? Let's start with to get them, which is a familiar process but with a new option as well. We think that all 16 villages added in version 2.0 will actually be added to the pool of villages you'll find normally or randomly, meaning the usual methods to consider like via the villager moving to your island or visiting your campsite by chance or more likely finding them on a mystery island using your nook mile tickets or if you just so happen to know someone with that villager and they're moving out. I'd argue though you need a lot of luck for that because the update is going to be brand new and everyone wants the new villagers. Generally though, while we have seen some restrictions on villagers in the past in the AC games, there wasn't really anything to tell us that these villagers won't be working normally and that these methods should be solid. However, there is another more direct way to get your ideal new villager and that's with the amiibo cards. By having the card of a villager, you can then use it to invite them directly to your island as a very straightforward way to get a villager if you want it. The Series 5 Amiibo cards release with the update on November 5th, and these cards can be purchased from various retailers depending on your region, but they're sold in packs, so depending on the way you buy them, you'll get three to six cards, and it's, you know, any of the potential 48. So obviously the problem with that is you might not get the villager you're hoping for, but it is an option, and of course there's other reasons to get these. So if you're willing to buy the cards for the villagers you want, while dealing with the luck involved, it is an option. That is if you can even buy them, since everywhere I've looked they've been sold out. So those are your possible methods for acquiring your new villagers, but who are the new and returning villagers to actually consider? Who's going to be your favorite? Who do you want? Well, let's go down the list from top to bottom and maybe you'll know. Sasha is our new male rabbit, a mix of green and blue in color with a personality of lazy. Hang on, is this me? Iona is the very interesting blue female squirrel. Interesting, of course, because of that almost celestial looking tail that she has. Her personality is normal, even if her tail is not. Tian Sheng is the new bright orange male monkey who just so happens to give me strong Wukong vibes. His personality is Jock. Shino is the slightly only looking female deer with that cream color but then the red horns that stick out in stark contrast. Her personality is Peppy. My main man Marlo is the incredible looking male hamster. I love him already. His personality is cranky. Petri on the other hand is a new white female mouse. She's got the rage versus hollow ears and her personality is snooty. Cephalobot is our new male octopus who is 100% not a robot. His personality is smug probably due to how popular I think this guy will be. Quinn is a very dapper female eagle who has the interesting personality of Big Sister. Chabwick, with maybe the greatest name in this set, literally Chabwick, that's brilliant. Chab is the new penguin villager and actually returns to the series after the Japanese only Animal Forest game. Apparently he was called Nobu in English and his personality is lazy. Zoe is the sweet anteater who returns from the original AC game on GameCube. Her personality is normal. Ace, this smug son of a gun is actually a jock. Uh, he's a bluebird villager, also from the original AC game. Rio is our new bright red ostrich. She's also from the original. Her personality is Peppy. The golden dog Fret returns from the Japanese only Animal Forest game, but we knew him as Champagne in English. He's surprisingly a cranky type. Azalea is the blue rhino, also from the Japanese game, but known as Petunia to us in English, she's snooty. Roswell is our 15th villager coming in this update, the brown alligator known as Pironcon in English. There's no way I didn't mispronounce that. He's basically a lazy gator with an interesting pattern to his skin. Finally, our last villager coming in the 2.0 update is Faith. She's the orange koala who was in the original AC game with a normal personality. But those are our 16 new options in 2.0. I'm wondering who's actually going to be like the most popular one. For me though, I like Ace, but my favorite has to be Marlo. I just love this little guy for some reason, just looking at him. But that's everything for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the 
2.0 update, it's good to finally see this at long last. So good luck to you finding your ideal villagers, and even more good luck if you choose to try the amiibo method. Until next time though, I've been Hollow, you've been you, thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.